what a charge from Kara gets ahead of the Mata. Yellow flag, there's an incident already. Someone has lost it. In the mist there, I believe. Yeah, oh, there's a huge a shunt. shunt. A huge shunt. Fernandez is involved. We've got cars ripped apart here, and that's entirely predictable. There was conjecture before the start as to whether they'd run single or double file. The gas out of the Honda hairpin. The overhead shot. Uh, here now out. this. Adrian's backed it in. Oh, there's massive contact there. Oh, oh. my goodness me, that is shocking. Nakano has gone in massive speed. Straight and has and absolutely ploughed into Takaji, who's launched over Fernandez. Gets the jump, he's the early leader. Oh, oh trouble. trouble! Steve Park is off into the infield. Another car ball over on his lid, it's Park and Dale Jr. Terrible crash. <clears throat> Look at that barrier give. Thank goodness. But again, that's one reason that Steve was able to walk away arm in arm with Dale Earnhardt Jr. because of that wall that did give. Absolutely. I agree with that 100%. And you know, the spotters on the roof here at Pocono are a long way away and from where Jonathan resting. Kennard in second all over the back of Sebastian Owen. Oh! Oh my goodness! That's Michael Meadows. And again. And that's Albert Costa. And in there as well is Hamad Al Fardan who didn't start race one. Three cars involved and Albert Costa upside down. I tell you what, that's a bit of video that he will watch a couple more times. It's just oh. frightening. He's thrown into the track, utterly helpless, and the fortunate thing, Costa throws his car into a spin, and that abates some of the energy, otherwise that could have been an awful lot of... Uh, creeping a bit, but away they go. Is it, has he incurred a jump start? It's possible. Coulthard is leading and squeezing Damon Hill, who is second. Schumacher is third, and off goes Frenson, and a tremendous pile-up at the back of the grid. I was watching the front of it, so I missed the detail on that one, but it looks to me like it's Katayama's Tyrrell. I don't know whether they're going to get a clear vision there across. Looks like a Pacific. It's difficult to see. There's Katayama. Look at him fly through the air. That must be doing 130 miles an hour at the time. It flips around. Great strength in the chassis of these Formula One cars. Back comes the, the, the Minardi of Luco Badoa, and then Roberto Moreno, I think it is, in the 40. He is the one that comes into the back of Katayama whilst Diniz, his teammate, sorry, I beg your pardon, whilst, uh, yes, there it is, Diniz, I think. He comes down. Oh, the pole sitter doesn't get going. There is not a worse place to stall than at the start of a race. I hope they're okay. That short time span, Eddie, it's just about impossible. Hunter Ray did a, oh. an exceptional job missing him. And that's Munoz is the one that decided to change lane from the right to left. Yes. And when he did that, he blocked the view of the cars behind him, and they found themselves with a stopped car in the middle. Nikomoto, who has taken the lead in that Lamborghini. The other Lamborghini of uh, Thomas Enger was pushed onto the inside line, and there's a bit of contact maybe in the middle of the pack. Everyone just about squeezes through. We go on board with Alex Zanardi, but it's your own Bleak Motor who's off, and that's a spin. Oh, Ooh. and that's a big accident for the number 88 machine, which is the right to engineering car of Stefan Rossina. There again, you can see the damage to the barrier, the big, big hit. Then the car flies through the air, but the key is the car itself, the integrity of the cockpit is absolutely intact. And then comes to rest the rear of the car, straddling the barrier. Steam from the rear. The final the race of the championship, the last event of 2011 in the FIA GT1 World Championship is about to go watch the lights the lights are out already and it is the corvette that makes the oh! call no! and the world champions are taken out the world champions are out in a big crash immediately and it's, it's taken in the aston out as well though i think the young driver car is it involved in the i'm not sure it is so uh coming down the corvette moves across yeah, it's the oh. nissan no it's the nissan, the nissan actually hits the back of the alinko yep. lamborghini and that actually then uh, shot him across and losing control
do it. Green, green. green flag, green flag. Boogity, 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 boys. Let's go racing. Oh, oh boy, oh. Kenny Spears. Didn't get up to speed, gets turned around, and we've got all kinds of cars spinning. Gary Earnhardt. Oh, they're all torn all the pieces. It's about 10 cars or a dozen cars. And as I was saying a while ago, you got 12 and a half rows of cars. Your outside pole sitter has a problem like that. This is the results right here. And you know, I felt all along, Mike and Larry, that this was going to be one of those nights. And it, it didn't even, we didn't even get 100 yards past the start finish line. Watch the inside row go. Only nine cars will get through this clean. Ricky Rudd is not one of them. That's a hard lick, but we do have the safer barriers in Stock. Gut aus und die Rennleitung gibt das Rennen frei und los geht's. Vollgas der Lamborghini vorne. Das schwarze Auto und da gibt's gleich einen heftigen Unfall, der zum Abbruch führen wird mit einem mehrmaligen Überschlag. Das ist mal richtig in die Hose gegangen und das muss rot geben. Um Gottes willen, was für ein Unfall. Der Mercedes, der HTP Mercedes, der war eigentlich ausschlaggebend. Er hatte schon mal angezuckt und ähm dann musste er zurücknehmen, die Corvette, die 1 Corvette ist ausgewichen und dann ging das eigentlich los, diese Kettenreaktion. Das müssen wir auch jetzt nochmal uns in, in Ruhe anschauen. Aber der HTP Mercedes von Maximilian Götz, der hat kurz gezogen. And many, many cars are involved. Cars, the safety crews are working on them. Let's take another look, Scott. Well, it looks like Jimmy Vassar on the pole position just turned right. Now, I would say something must have went wrong with the car because if he got on the gas too soon on cold tires, usually the car would go to the inside like we've side seen. Side by side. Benani with the inside. Huff trying to come back around the outside so that he gets position for the tight turn six. And then contact into the barriers, they go, Norby gets a hit, it is in fact Banani's car that basically almost came through Ted Björk's windscreen. Tarquini coming by John Philippi, and look, look how much you can see, absolutely nothing. And then suddenly everything is stationary, and that nice start going. from Coulthard, great start from Schumacher, Schumacher second, Schumacher has passed Mika Hakkinen already, oh. and is going for the lead, and off goes they're going to stop the race, no doubt about that at all. Look back, and you can see that as Wurz goes over the kerb, and behind him was Jean and Lacy, there is the Prost of Jarno Trulli. I think what happened, Murray, is uh, Wurz has obviously come in near miles too fast. You see him coming from the left there. He just hit a lazy. The car has turned over twice. Uh, big shunt, actually, very big accident. Lucky enough, it was just where the, uh, the gravel trap. So, uh, fortunately, he wasn't. Bruno had wahrscheinlich jetzt noch eine Position verloren. Es geht jetzt ganz eng hier zur Sache. Sofort. Und der, oh, und der Tom dreht sich. Uh. Sofort der Konter von Bruno oh. Spengler und ein heftiger Unfall. Ach du grüne Neune, hoffentlich ist da nichts. Es sah fast so aus, als ob Christensen da ein bisschen übers Gras oder über den, ja, von der Strecke abgefahren ist. Und da, als er zurückkommt auf die Strecke, verliert er die Kontrolle über das Fahrzeug. Und dann dieser heftige Treffer von Alexandre Prema, den wir links hier wegfahren sehen, im Grau. And immediately Jordan King is trying to get alongside as we've got Peak off in the background there. They all funnel through. Harry Adler and a spin for Gasly. Gasly goes round and he's clobbered. Oh, a horrible accident, eliminating multiple cars. Oh, but look at Gasly here on the inside. Had a little look at Marcello. Never going to happen that. But he ended up just spinning it. And here he's got to put the anchors on, but he rolls back into the track. And that rear right gets smacked by Nato in the Arden, and then they're all just passengers straight Time towards to that barrier. Two wins so far this season, and away they go. John Van, six times a race winner, hasn't made the greatest of starts on occasion though, that's not too bad, he's almost alongside Ollie Webb, trying to tuck back in, Carlos Huertas, right on the inside, still there, still there, all oh, contact, and Huertas on the grass, and he'll be in the wall, yes he is, meanwhile, back down to the first corner, oh, and Van has hit Webb, and cars off everywhere. Well, who escaped that? Lift through the S's. Through the S's, uphill, left, right, left. Oh, one car on. 
Scott Bully in the way, and we're stacking them up. Oh, oh my God. My. One car up and over and over the fencing. Wow. Let's look at this again, Larry. Two cars make contact there, including the 26 machine, Scott Bully. And these cars just start stacking up behind him. See look Corey Heath come in there in the 12 car. Is that the 21 of Troy Williams that goes right up and over the wall? It is. Troy Williams. I think he's going to get back. Kirk Bush, or, uh, uh oh, got another car around over here coming through turn eight. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Hard lick. Man, Sterling Marlin in the 14 car, and they're still stacking up. Casey Mears. One car, T-bone Schrader, extremely hard. Oh, it was an incredible lick. See Kenny go around in the 21 car. Now here's where it gets ugly. He backs right out in front of Sterling for Marlin. Sterling to go. Nowhere for Hubert to go. Look at Boyer. Snakes right through there. The 42 car got him in the rear just ever so slightly. Did Rossi, not pretty well smoked on the front straightaway. Now Ryan Hunter Ray is to the oh. inside. Huge crash. Took Hunter Ray, Sato. Oh no, and Rossi is in it. A lot of cars. Up Rossi in the in fences. It. Rosenquist. This is disastrous for Rossi in the championship. His teammate was involved like he was last year. Already banging wheels already so close, but here, watch Sato, and then he just turns on him. Oh, and Hunter, Man. Hunter Ray was kind of tight Rossi down below. No steering for Rossi now. I think everybody was trying to go after the single car tow, the draft from Scott Dixon. So Matt Varsha in the red car slides up to second. Man, I tell you what, one of the things about Varsha, that kid's got no fear. Parrington and, and Podikin right there side by side, and exciting for, oh! Oh, huge wreck! Man. Oh, man! Harrington is involved, and they keep piling in! Oh, a vicious, oh, this is a vicious red wreck. They got a red flag, this. That problem with that barrier, oh, oh man. Harrington just, took a violent hit. You want to bounce off, and there's pew. Oh, he gets helped and launched. Big hit. Doug Peterson was the one that got under there. Brad Yeager's in there. Ross Smith. Ken Lushman. Eric didn't need a pusher. He just accelerated and drove away from him. Oh, Hard into the wall already. The 7 and the 20. Two of the main contenders for the championship. And Cole Custer. Cindric. Allgaier got loose, got into the back of the 20. Allgaier into the wall. The 20 also major damage. All the points in their bucket. They have the lead coming into the race because of their performance in the regular season. They're going to give it all back right here on the initial start of the race. 98 getting in there. Big hit right here by the 23. Wow, that was a oh, big hit. There they go, revs rise, clutches at biting points, away they go, and a wheel spinning start from Andy oh, Zuba on a no. huge contact. Timo Glock on pole and Andy Zuba second on the grid. Yellow flags wave, we've got two stallers as well. This is going to be a safety car, if not a red flag. Uh, but in front of uh, Adrian South. Oh, and another one. We are going to see a red flag, and that is a huge accident. That's Javier Vier, I think. So, uh, dramatic accident moments ago as Ernesto Viso barrel rolled over the wall, over the top of Michel Amamula's car. <laughs> Side by side, all kinds of shenanigans going on behind it. Someone's tipped up at the air there. That's a big one. Oh. And that's gone a long way off. That's Kelvin Burt. It's as these two cars come together. So Kelvin is extricated from the car. Who show us that as we go on board now. He definitely touched the outside wall of Reservoir Bend. Doesn't look as though there's major damage to the car, but we'll keep you informed as to whether... Oh, no! Oh, mayhem! And there's millions and millions 
and millions of dollars of damage here at the mighty Macau. And that is one of the worst GT accidents I've ever seen here. Let's have a look at what happened, first of all. We haven't seen what happened. Augusta Farfus in third place goes through, and it's a police that uh, they come together. And it's Junkadella who may well have been the cause, because Junkadella now backwards, and, and I think he had a damaged car anyway. But Junkadella is the car that's turned round. 